these damn mosquitoes. Oh, stupid mosquitoes. When you stop, the friggin' mosquitoes just attack you. Oh my god, there's so many mosquitoes. Bugs are bad in Algonquin. What a wonderful Here we go. Really winging it today. Just hiking wherever, going up and down the highway through Algonquin and just hitting all the trails as much as I can. Big Pines Trail, 2.9 kilometers. They said it's two hours. So I'm just at the entrance here and I'm going to take off. It also mentioned it's an easy trail, so I don't mind that. I assume this is why they call it Big Pine. Oh shit. Look at the bend in this tree. <laughs> Quite a bend in that for a big tree. Crazy. These numbers, that's where you stop and there's a few big pines around. So keep an eye out for those uh, posts with numbers on them and then just take a look around at the pines. They're big ones. Take a while to cut those down. This has got to be the biggest one. Oh, jeez, I keep losing my glasses. This has got to be the biggest one. Just sitting in here in the middle of the trail, glowing. Oh, I'm the biggest pine of the woods. When you stop, the friggin' mosquitoes just attack you. So it's, so you gotta just keep walking, keep them off you, because they are bad. I have so many bites on me. Ooh, this one's dead.
it's actually the roots are all going through the rock and coming out in between both rock sides so that's pretty neat never seen a tree do that before coolio oh man bugs are bad in Algonquin getting eaten alive scratch my legs tonight these damn mosquitoes oh, stupid mosquitoes if it's not rain it's mosquitoes if it's not mosquitoes it's rain that's the way she goes stupid friggin mosquitoes I need to have this beer this would be nice to stop here I'd like to get over there but I'll probably get my boots wet I don't know, find somewhere else just around the corner, there's this, and it's breezy, so hopefully, oh my god, they're like, they're all in me. Oh, they're all just stuck in me. Oh, come on, breeze, keep them away. Oh. Okay, I'm having my beer quick. Quick beer, and then on again. Oh, that breeze can just stay. So definitely a nice day. It did rain, poured rain when I was driving up here oh, at around 12 o'clock. But it cleared up and sunny today. Hopefully that would be awesome if it didn't rain tonight. Beauty day tomorrow, no rain. Because I'll be coming back here tomorrow and do a bunch of more hikes and uh, one of the waterfalls I want to go see and it's at the other end of Algonquin. So. I'll do that tomorrow. Oh my god, there's so many mosquitoes. Beef jerky for lunch. I think it's like, it's gotta be like 2.30, 3 o'clock. Just crushed a beer, and I got about 100 more mosquito bites. So I gotta get moving here. A big B roll of the big pine now.
All right, so done, big pine. Uh, didn't take that long. I did fart around too, but man, it's kind of nice here in Algonquin because it's like, it's not busy. I feel like if it was camping season, this parking lot would be full. So I think it's a good time for me to come here because I don't see like anybody on the trails. I saw one guy on that trail, so it's kind of nice. Might do one more. We'll see. Uh, a nice trail. Wasn't too hard. It's a moderate. Had some a little bit of ruggedness to it. Um, yeah, I'd say I was probably out for an hour, maybe an hour and a half at the most. I don't. I didn't really keep track of time, but so yeah, good little trail. Cool uh, pine trees. Some of them are like whatever, but there are some unique ones, some big ones. So. I would check that out for sure. All right. Oh. Black flies now <laughs> are bad. So it's just after four. I'm at Centennial Ridges Trail in Algonquin. So this trail is a 10 kilometer hike. Uh, it says give you six hours, but I can't see it being six hours. But I gotta hurry up because it's just after four and I didn't think, I didn't know that this trail was that long. So I gotta get going so that I can find a camping spot after this. So hopefully I can do this whole loop because that's why I'm here. Yeah, 10 kilometers. That's actually, 10 kilometers is pretty long. <laughs> Shit. I might not do the whole thing, we'll see. I'm gonna be trekking hard here, especially with this. I'm gonna chug this and I'll be good to go. This is gonna suck because the time I get back, drive out of Algonquin Park, it's gonna definitely be dark. And then I gotta find a camping spot in the dark again, close by, which I don't know where I'm gonna find it, but just kind of sucks because I want I like to get back to camp and watch the sunset, get dinner ready and when it's light out. Now I have to make dinner in the dark. So really, I should, probably should have been heading back now, but I got here so late. I should have woke up early this morning. God damn it. Lots of moose scat on the trail. It's old stuff though, not fresh. But maybe I'll see some new stuff. I'll be like, yeah, that's fresh. Farm fresh. Move shit fresh. I'm just at the split where the uh, Centennial Ridges is to the Coon Lake. So I'm gonna head, uh, I'm gonna take a right here and go towards Lac Cloud Lake. That looks like a long hike though. I don't know how much I'm gonna do today, but. So I'm gonna head that way, hopefully loop around. If not, I'll have to come back the same way and just do a little bit, but we'll see I am. We'll see what I am for time. I just ran into a couple and they did this full loop and they said it took them five hours. 
you know, I, when I took off, or when I left the parking area, it was 4.30, so do the math. It's gonna be dark if I do the whole thing. So I'm thinking I'm not getting this fully done, which kind of sucks, because I would like to. I just feel like it's gonna be hard to vlog and hike and get this whole thing done. Now I have ran on trails before to hurry it up. I just don't want, I just haven't hiked in a while and if I, if I start friggin' hoofing or running, I'm probably gonna hurt my legs. And then I got the camera on my chest. If I fall white bail and break my friggin' camera. So, I don't know. No brakes, maybe an apple break. ponds and the, the water level is higher than the boardwalk but yet the water's not rushing over top of it it's like it's holding up right up there because it's clogged up but it's crazy because you look like this and the water level is way high Weird. What are these things? It looks like a leaf with asphalt on it. And it's just sticking to the side of this rock. Kind of look like bats. Story on this one. I'm calling her quits. I just feel like my time is not good. I shouldn't have started on this trail. I should have looked at it better. Realized it was a 10 kilometer before I drove all the way down. But I'm gonna have to do this another time. So I'm gonna head back to the Jeep and then that's it for today. And then I'll have to find, will have to find a campsite. That's gonna be a challenge. But I would like, I'd just like to get somewhere and just be able to relax by myself, mm -hmm. nobody around, barbecue my steak, <laughs> drink some beer, Caesars. Oh, we all know, we, I love Caesars. I'll catch you back at the Jeep, and uh, if I see a moose, I'll film it.
trail that led to these power lines and I was thinking about camping right here. Great view, awesome camping, but this thing's just creeping me out with the friggin' voltage running by, so I don't even know if it's safe to even stay under this thing. I don't, probably not, so uh, the thing about camping here, I'm not gonna do it because I think it's unsafe. I honestly don't even like standing under this stuff, so uh, I'm gonna head back to the trail. I did see an area where I could camp away from these power lines, unless I do go, maybe I'll go, I don't know, maybe I'll go look for something else on a lake, and if not, then I can come back, at least I know I have this spot, so, all right, back at her. New trail, I found along 127. I'm just going in here and see what I can find. It's uh, definitely an unused trail, so it's pretty grown up, but we'll see where it takes us. soft in here. <laughs> Those are black flies and they are insane. made it through it looked a lot worse than it does on here that's for sure find where I'm gonna put the Jeep in the tent I'm thinking over there yep then I gotta build a fire pit gotta get a fire going get my bug suit on Got my bug suit on. Baked potatoes are on. Having steak tonight. Wanna eat that up so it doesn't go bad. I matched the tent now. I'm trying to be camouflaged here. I know I look geeky and I don't like to use bug nets, but man, these bugs are freaking bad. This is the worst I've ever experienced bugs. <laughs> fire okay fire check potatoes check uh, what am I missing uh, Caesars beer what too bad Shannon wasn't here to make them for me
on an old logging road near Algonquin. Pretty close, close enough for what I need to get back there tomorrow. Got my Caesar. You guys know I love Caesars. And across the road here, my little fire. So, good setup for now. I figured nobody's back here. So a good place to camp out. The bugs are settling down now. So it's nice just to be able to not get friggin' eaten alive and nice to be able to get my food ready here. So yeah, dinner's gonna be ready soon. Just chill out by the fire and look at all this wood, free wood. When you're on the logging road, there's wood everywhere. And I'll just keep stocking her up. I saw some moose tracks coming in on the trail. I keep hearing a lot of things, but I don't know what it is. I was just at the fire, just finished dinner, and I was gonna make another Caesar, and then I heard a snap in the woods, and then basically, uh, something snorting back there so I think I have a bear in camp so I put all the food away it's 10 30 <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna go to bed but uh, yeah I'm probably gonna be harassed by a bear tonight so it should be an interesting sleep but one good thing is I'm up on the roof of my Jeep not on the ground I keep hearing it walk around back in the bush and it's kind of circling around camp so uh yeah i'm just gonna go to bed and sleep and hopefully wake up tomorrow and there's no friggin bear we'll see you tomorrow more hiking to come what a wonderful world.